Hi. Today I'm going on a date. I go on dates a lot. I just don't call it a date, you know? And then you're asking yourself, Ken, are you going on a date with a guy? I'm not telling. Today we're just gonna kill. All I do is rinse my face. Brown skin girl. Skin just like pearls. Very exciting news. Today I get to show you guys the Coach Times Sephora Collection Limited Edition collection. I just said the same word twice. It's a gorgeous collection and I'm really excited to get to show it to you today. Okay, so right there. And right here, there we are, ladies and gents. While that's going on, I'm gonna straighten my hair and answer some of you guys' advice questions because what do I do when I'm struggling with my life? Give you advice for yours. Do you think it's okay to help ex-friends with school stuff? Like, they weren't good to you, but you still help them. You do what you feel is good for for you. Now, for me, if a friend that was not good to me asked me for help, I know. People who've wronged you or people who weren't good to you, you want to be the bigger person, you want to help them out. But I wouldn't put myself in that situation at all just because that makes me a little uncomfortable. I actually don't even want to be in contact with people who aren't good to me. Should I get Polynesian sauce or barbecue sauce with my Chick-fil-A nuggets? I am a Polynesian sauce gal and that is what I recommend, Kelly. How should I reconnect with a guy? I was emotionally unavailable and still like Does he want to connect with you? I think you need to suss that out. I think it's important that you take his feelings into account because this isn't fair to him for you to just be reconnected. Yeah, yeah. You need to feel it out. Like, is he down? Is he down for the count? I think so, so that is good. Okay, can I be honest with you? Oh, wait, it did curl. Hey, 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 it's bad, Albert. I don't know if I finished answering that question, but I'm really glad you are emotionally available now. Good for you, that's progress. How do you gain enough confidence to step out of your comfort zone and dress up? I would say baby steps. I would start really small in high school. I would buy one thing that made me uncomfortable. I remember when I was a freshman, I never wore combat boots. And so I got this pair of combat boots from I think Charlotte Russe. Am I curling this right? Let me just recurl this. Cause what, what is that? I'm really winging it. If you couldn't tell, I don't know what I'm doing. Got those boots and I wore them with my normal outfits. I didn't go crazy. And that way I was comfortable wearing the boots. And then next I was like, I really want to wear these boots with a skirt. I did this all in the span of one week, but you can take your time with it, definitely. Wear it with a skirt that I was a little bit, you know, scared to wear. And also just making sure your clothes fit you and you feel comfortable wearing them. Make sure the colors are for your skin. You don't realize that the color of your clothes sometimes does not go with your skin and your undertones and that will have an effect on how you view yourself. Learn about color theory and buy clothes that make you feel good. I think I wanna do like a 70s look. If you watch my last video, I brought the beloved cowboy boots, Kelly. XOXO, love you. I just realized I'm wearing this t-shirt from bed. <laughs> Probably should have thought this through, but I just started filming and I didn't think about it. You guys are gonna love these pajamas, they're so cool. Hello! Can I get a round of applause for the dress? Oh yes, I love it here. What I'm gonna do is just rub that in very gently. The skin is very sensitive under here. I didn't realize how sensitive the skin was around your eyes until I burned it. Let me hurry up and finish this hair. This is the part where I listen to my fire date night playlist made by you guys because I asked you guys on Instagram some songs to put on it. So if you wanna see that, link in the description. Also, if you wanna see my music taste, I have a highlight on my Instagram, so check it out. So you may be asking yourself, Kiana, why are you in a different bathroom every time we see you? I am trying to figure out my living situation. I don't really know what's going on. So if you don't know what's going on, me neither. <clears throat> Let's see what we're dealing with. I have so many hobbies I want to improve on, like dancing. And I'm happiest when I do these things, but I never have the motivation to do these things. 
they make me so happy, but I just can't get up and do it. What you could do is focus on your mental health right now. That could just be resting and honoring where you are at because a lot of people are busy with things like school and work that take up so much of their mental space and they don't have time for themselves. Don't put so much pressure on yourself because I know when I was not happy, I didn't do things that made me happy. I think what could be helpful is therapy. Also, baby steps. You don't have to do a whole two hour dance routine. Just throw on some Just Dance, you know? Dance to one song. Whenever I don't want to do something, I set a 25 minute timer and I'm like, all right, I'm going to do it for 25 minutes and I'm going to see why I was trying not to do this for so long. We talk ourselves out of a lot of things. So the second you get an idea to dance, go do it. You'll end up doing it for more than 25 minutes one of the times, I promise you. Time for the fun part. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz to Brush those out. If you want to be my baby, I'm going to take my retractable eyeliner. This is in brown. Not only am I going to put eyeliner, but I'm going to go in the waterline and then maybe a little here too. Just all over, just line it all. Now for the exciting part Coach by Support Collection. But she's so nice, but she's so nice, but she's so nice. Look how cute this is. It's so 70s and I love it. Here we have a crease brush, shadow brush, angle blush. We have a powder brush and then we have, this is the highlight brush. I love these highlight brushes. I'm getting used to this today and show you how well it works. So we have the eyeshadow palettes. I'm actually gonna use these two. We have Sharpie and we have Uni. When you open this, there is a palette inside. Not only a palette, but there's a mirror. That's me. I'm gonna be using the Sharky palette today, so that just in case you guys wanna do a look with one palette, this is your gal. I'm gonna use the shadow brush and I'm gonna dip that in the suede color. Suede color is gonna go all over your lid. I'm just gonna put that on. I'm gonna blend it a little bit with the crease brush. Even though it's a crease brush, I always use these for like application all over my eye anyway. I don't know if I told you guys this, but these were functionally designed to clip to coach bags. And I think that's the cutest thing ever. So if you want to bring your palette with you to the date, who's stopping you? Not me. The next thing we're going to use from our Sharky palette is this sparkly color. This is Amethyst right here. You're going to put that on the middle, just the middle. We're just going to put it right here. The next thing I'm going to do is take the Uni palette and this is a face palette. I'm going to use the highlighter. The highlight brush. Look how pretty that is. We're gonna act like we're going to the disco right now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara to prep for the lashes. I have to leave to put these lashes on because lashes are no joke. While I'm doing my lashes, I just wanted to say a couple things. The first being that this collection is limited edition, so make sure to click the links down below and check it out. And the second thing I wanna say is I was listening to What Lovers Do and lost in Japan. Guys, click the link down below, check the playlist. It's gonna be really good. What do we think? Rate me one out of 10. Last step, this step is very important. Lip glosses. Oh, no. <laughs> The next thing is what will complete the look. I have the T-Rose lip set and it comes with four high shine lip glosses. So I'm gonna use the nude one, which is this one right here. You're gonna put the lip gloss on. Okay, this is a non-sticky formula. And this is the finished look. And I might add faux freckles if I'm feeling crazy, but I don't know yet. I don't want to catfish on the first date. I don't have real freckles, so. I think I'm gonna brush the hair out now. Hopefully it looks better, not worse. He 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 he. Here's how it turned out. Could, could have been better, but you know, I wasn't doing my best work. I took out the bangs for one, and one side turns out pretty good. The other side, not so much, but I really like my makeup a lot. It's so cute. Also, I realized how poorly I curled my hair once I brushed it out, so. As getting ready comes to an end, I just wanted to give my biggest date night tip, which is to just enjoy yourself and ask yourself, do I like them? Before asking, do they like me? Because this is about you, baby. And also take your time getting ready because I really did mess up these bangs. It was not cute. Fake nails. This is the T-Rose nail set and I'm gonna use it to do my nails. Look how cute the caps are. 
It's a C for coach. Wow, these are so pretty. Maybe sharks on the thumbs and then, no, I have to do the T-Rexes right now. So we're just, we're just gonna wing it. How can I keep a friendship alive when I feel like it's dying? What am I supposed to do? I say let it die. Let it shrivel up and die. My ex cheated on me with my best friend. My ex best friend wants to have a friendship like nothing happened. Well, I say let it die. She needs to be let go. Just like this curl. Let's see if it comes out good. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay guys, so I put my sunglasses on. Bangs are looking a little I mean, could be better. First thing we have is this wonderful jacket from Aritzia. We have this choice of jeans. I think these might be the ones for today. They're from IMG. These are our shoe options. None of them really match and that's okay. Lastly, we have this beautiful set that I'm going to try on. Put some boots on. This is my first outfit and I think this is the one. Ideally, I would be wearing some 70s platform heels, but I don't have any, but I ordered some, so next time. But for now, I have these wonderful cowboy boots that are just the cutest. <gasps> these jeans are just the best. They make such a statement, and then this top crops perfectly so it doesn't cover up the amazingness of the jeans. Which outfit is my date night outfit? Comment down below, one or two. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do this look, make sure to tag me on Instagram and I'll repost you on my story. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.